Hey everybody, Chris Okitsune here, and today is going to be a very special uh, episode. Well, I keep saying that for every episode. Um, it's not special, but it is a new game. Um, it's based off of Agario, which is the little balls that go around and eat uh, everybody <clears throat> to get bigger. And this is called Slitherio. And it's basically the same premise, except for you're like a snake or a worm, and you're eating little, bl like, glowing balls, and you're trying to get bigger. And um, I played a little bit of it to see what it was like, just to get the, you know, concept of it and the premise. And I thought it was pretty neat, so I thought I would uh, go ahead and make a video of this game. If you like this uh, particular game, let me know, and I will upload more of it. Um, see how big I can get uh, without getting eaten. Because um, actually, you don't get eaten in this game. You get, uh, like, demolished or whatever. Like, if you're going around, uh, if you touch another snake, then you, or worm, then you disintegrate. And then you have to start all over again. Um, so, like, the concept or the strategy is to get big enough to where you can surround um, other worms and get bigger, uh, big enough to trap them in the middle of your circle and then they can't get out and then they'll touch you and then you can collect all the little orbs that you can eat. So it's basically kind of like a Gario, um, except for instead of getting sucked in you just disintegrate. So we're going to play, um, like I said I played a little bit of it already, so I'm going to play some more. It goes through, uh, it has a little map there at the bottom right. There's leaderboard that's there on the uh, upper right, <clears throat> and all these little lights are your little food source. And the more you suck in, the longer you get. And when you see people, you know, that are bigger and trying to uh, catch you, uh, so you can see that there's a lot of little worms around. I guess those little grayed out things are worms. Oh, they don't seem to be moving, so I don't know what exactly those. Oh yeah, I guess they're moving a little bit. Um, but you don't want to touch them because if they touch you, then they all disintegrate. And that's not a problem. Then you can eat their balls. It sounded right weird. Um, their little orbs. Um, but if you touch them, then you disintegrate. So it's uh, kind of... <coughs> it's a little laggy because I think there's like a butt ton of people in here. Um, so I'm trying not to, to uh, touch anyone. Got a little laggy there for a little bit. So, if you see on the upper upper right hand side, you can see um, the score is the length of the snake worm thing. Um, and then on the bottom left there, it shows you the <clears throat> your current length and your rank as of now. And then also it shows on the upper left the longest worm thing that was made by somebody. <clears throat> so it's a lot like Agario where you know you're just going around eating little little colored orbs and getting bigger in the process and it's, it's free just like Agario is. Um, so far there's no microtransactions or anything, so I don't know if it's made by the same people or not. <clears throat> I just know that it has a name similar to Agario, so it might be by the same people, I'm not sure. Um, I just ha managed to find it when, uh, or saw the name Slitherio, or Slitherio, or whatever, um, PewDiePie had a video. I didn't watch it, but I saw the name Slitherio, and I was like, well, that's interesting. Um, so I looked it up, and I saw that it was actually a game, so I played it for a little bit, and then thought I would do a video of it. And Pookers is up here on my shirt, chewing on the little silver things that are on my shirt. And he's having fun. Well, at least he's being quiet. <laughs> so, this is actually the longest I've actually been in this game. 
Um, usually, uh, I get eaten by now, or trapped and eaten, or disintegrated or whatever. Um, so it's, it's quite a feat that I get, th I haven't, uh, gotten much longer than this. It was about, I was like about 300 something one time. But like Igario, it's a fun little cheap, well not cheap, I mean it's free, but it's a fun little, you know, game that you can play, uh, in browser, just like Igario. Although, like, Agario went and made all those microtransaction stuff, and then it kind of lost its, 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 you know, special, specialness, because, you know, people could pay to play to, or pay to win or whatever, and get better stuff, and, you know, have an advantage or whatever. This one, so far, doesn't have any of that. I mean, it didn't come up saying, hey, you know, you should, you know, do this, and you, I mean, I'm sure there's something. Because, you know, you see all these other worms that have different colors. I don't know if that's a thing that happens if you get a special orb or whatever, but I've seen multicolored ones already, so I don't know what that's about. Um, I've seen, like, red, white, and blue ones, I think, and I've seen, like, multicolored ones. So I don't know what that's about. But so far this is, like, the longest that I've ever, like stayed alive. So that's a feat. <laughs> you don't get very many orbs in this one. And I think it's like a bigger board. You know, because Agario gave you like, well maybe it's about the same size, but Agario gave you like a certain size uh, board, it had a border on it, so if you went past the border then, you know, sometimes you got trapped. So, I guess this has kind of the same element, if you get to an edge or something, you might get trapped or something. I don't know. Like I said, I only play, played like a little bit of this game prior to playing now, so maybe a little boring. Um, and again, there's like a little bit of lag, so. And I died. So that's what happens when you die, you just turn into little balls, and then you get eaten by your uh, enemies. Um, we'll play a couple more rounds, see how far I can get. See, you start out with this little tiny, like, maggot bug type thing, it looks like, like a little maggot, and then you just eat the little balls, and then you just get bigger and bigger. Just like Agario. But you get bigger... I mean, you don't eat other players to get bigger. I mean, you do, but you don't. I mean, you don't eat other players if they happen to touch you and they disintegrate. But other than that, I mean, you don't get bigger by, like, sucking people into your body and getting, uh, you know, swole because of that. Um... And I got ran into something. This one is like a little bit more difficult because I mean, if there's people like all around you that are like like that, and with a little bit of with a little bit of lag that's in here, when you get around other people, um, it kind of kind of you know fucks you over basically because it's like uh, you can't pick a direction to, to keep yourself from being eaten or ran into another player, you can't really save yourself from that when there's lag. And I don't know what's with these little glowing moving balls. Like, I don't, I mean, you eat them and they don't give you anything, so I don't know what that's about. I don't know, like, there's no, like, thing that shows you keys or, or whatever, so I don't know, aside from just using your mouse, if there's any, like, W function. There's no W function. Um, There's no, and you can't use spacebar for anything. So this, the functions that we're using for Agario, the W button and the uh, spacebar, aren't utilized in this as of yet. I don't know how old this is. Um, I like I said, I've never heard of it, or I've never, I never heard of it. Before.
prior to seeing PD, uh, video that PewDiePie, I mean, I didn't actually watch the whole video, so I didn't know what it was about until I searched for it, but prior to seeing the thumbnail of it, um, I didn't even know this existed, so <clears throat> I don't know how old it's been, or how long it's been around, but, um, so far, I mean, it's okay, it's just like Agario, like, except for it's a worm instead of a ball, and it gives it a little, a little bit more of a personality, I guess, you know, uh, a face, it gives you a face, and it's actually like a creature as opposed to just a ball of, you know, color that sucks things in. Um, so I can possibly just like alternate this and Agario for um, certain videos, as well as Puzzle Pirates and uh, Stardew Valley, but it seems to me that people seem to like Puzzle Pirates more than um, Stardew Valley, so maybe it's because people have seen it so much and not many people know what Puzzle Pirates are, or is, because no like big YouTuber does Puzzle Pirates, so um, that could be the reason, because nobody's seen it. And I could go back and do like some Where in the World is Come in San Diego for like old, uh, old school stuff. Or where in the USA is Carmen San Diego because where in the U where in the world is Carmen San Diego is way too hard. Um, I mean, it's not hard in the sense that you know, knowing which country or whatever to go to. I mean, that's a little bit difficult. You can always just look it up on your phone, but they give you like questions to a to answer in order to uh, you know get your promotions. And the, where the USA is coming, San Diego, they just give you your promotions after, like, so many cases. So that's why I like that one a whole lot better. Is because after you, you know, get um, through, you know, X amount of cases, you just automatically get uh, promoted. So that's it's a fun game to play because, I mean, it's educational as well as, uh, you know, fun. But I would, uh, you know, the playability, unless you want to just play to get to, like, the top rank, if you just want to play for, just to play, I mean, the playability doesn't have that much of a big factor, because, like, it's all basically the same. I mean, you get your first clue, and then you go to this place, and then you ask the people, like, okay, you know, have you seen this person, and then you take the clues, and you go to the next place, and then it's just basically repetitive actions, but... Uh, the only thing that you would be striving for is to get to the next uh, rank. But I could play it anyway because it's still fun in uh, chunks. <laughs> and I also introduced uh, doing some drawing videos, um, which I always like to draw. And I could always, you know, do something like that. Um, because it's fun for me. I like doing drawings once in a while. Um, probably the, you know, theme of parakeets and ponies probably wasn't that great. I mean, not everybody's into My Little Pony, so I was, you know, trying to think of something that I could draw that I'm good at. Parakeets are meh, but, um, ponies are, you know, something that I was drawing a lot of because I was you know, doing commissions and stuff for them, but, um, <clears throat> see if we can try to trap this guy. Not completely long enough to do that. Oh, I'm on the leaderboard at number nine. Chasing my tail. He's just going around in circles so that way he doesn't get eaten. It's kind of like centipede mixed with snake mixed with agario. Because centipede and snake are essentially the same game, you just 
you know, go around and, um, don't, you know, you get the colored balls, but you don't, like, touch yourself, because if you do, or the edge of the game, or, or you'll die. So it's kind of like that. But I'm on the leaderboard. I'm actually number eight right now. I'm pretty big. So that's exciting. I don't know how they do the glowy thing. I don't know if it's like a shift thing or what. It doesn't give you any instructions. It just says, here's the game. Play it. So I don't know what the function is to do that glowy glow. Dang it. <laughs> that was mean. I'll do it one more time. And then I'll end this video. Um, one more time. Because we're only at 15 minutes. So I like to give like a nice 20 minute video or so. Just so you have, you know, enough content. I mean, I noticed like a lot of... <clears throat> YouTubers do videos that are about well the vloggers anyway do a lot of really short videos and they edit them like a lot which I guess in the you know, in some instances is good because if you start rambling on about something like I do a lot then you just edit out the parts that are boring or whatever I just give you what I what I give you I mean I don't know how to edit so I'm kind of like not I mean, I'm sure if I, you know, implied myself, I could learn how to do it, but I like giving you, you know, the whole thing. You know, I just want to play the game, have fun, let you watch me play, and what you see is what you get. So it's like, that's me. I mean, like I said, in, in certain content, I mean, a context, it's like, it's okay to edit in certain you know things so your video isn't super over the long but I mean I re noticed that like a lot of vloggers videos are like super short and they do everything like like within five minutes or so and I'm like I want more you know I don't want just you know I guess maybe for some people it's like I just want to watch five minutes of this and then I'm done because that's about the attention span of some people or something I don't know but I hope, like, if you're watching my videos, that you watch the whole thing and you don't just go, oh, this is so boring, you know, she's just talking about nothing. Parakeets or, you know, this or that or whatever. And I'm, like, thinking to myself, like, well, hopefully I'm not that boring. That, you know, I don't, my content, my content isn't, you know, so, or my dialogue, you know, the, the talking that I do isn't boring. Because then I'll feel bad. <laughs> I don't, I don't, you know, know how, you know, what the analytics are of how people, how long people stay in my videos, but hopefully you stay till to the end, and watch the end, and, and subscribe, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Because as long as I can, I'll try to get you con or content that's interesting to watch, whether it's a game, or a DIY, or, you know, something. Um... I'm kind of getting sort of short on the DIY stuff. I mean, I don't want it to be all eating stuff. I mean, the craft stuff is fun, like the tie dye that I did and the and um, you know the color T-shirt one and the Kool Aid one with or the tie dye with the tie dye paint and then the one with the Kool Aid. You know, they're both fun little projects and stuff. And the slime. I mean, those are all fun, but when you get to like um, right down to it. I mean, like, there's only so many crafts that you can do that are interesting. I mean, I got some stu other stuff that I'm kind of, you know, debating or figuring out how I'm going to do it without editing it all. I'm going to have to probably do some minor editing because um, it involves heating up part of it, so I don't think you <laughs> want to wait while I heat up the uh, stuff. So, I mean, at that point, it's it would be good to have, like, a uh, like a video camera, like a handheld thing, 
which I'm, I'm thinking about getting in the future. Uh, one of those camcorder things. Are you having fun over there? I'm not paying attention to my thing. Are you having fun? There's these little silver rivet things on my shirt that he's uh, having fun chewing on. <laughs> so. I mean, birds are all about the shiny. They like shiny things. Don't get in my way, man. He's gonna try to trap me or something. Like, I don't know what that whole, like... I don't know how you do that little... Uh, sparkly, like, turbo or whatever. I'm sure if I read, like, a tutorial or something like Because I saw, like, when I searched for Slitherio, I saw, like, tips and tricks or whatever on another site, and I'm like... But that wasn't what I was looking for. I was looking for the actual game. So I guess you could read up on that and find out how how to do how to slither you. Well we're, we're past twenty minutes now. Um I don't know how much longer I'm gonna survive. Uh, that was a close one. <laughs> See it's all about getting the the big ones to touch 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 and I got touched by that okay so that's gonna be all of slither eo or dot eo um if you want to see more of this particular eo uh let me know in the comments below um or if you want to see agar eo let me know about that too um if you have any suggestions for games whether they're steam games that aren't super expensive or you know dos games that are kind of like where in the world's come in San Diego or I can't get like uh, certain games because they're not like on abandoned websites or anything you would have to like, like get zipped versions or something and that just puts viruses and shit on your computer so if you like this video give it a like and make sure to subscribe it will help me out help me out with liking and sharing the video so other people can enjoy this content as well and um, be sure to follow me on Twitter. And I just recently got on Instagram. So if you want to see pictures of parakeets, um, there's a link to the bo at the bottom um, for my Instagram account. Uh, and you could just see pictures of parakeets or whatever happened to post. So have a good day, everybody. And I hope you uh, in enjoy, enjoy this video. And look forward to seeing more from me. And Pookers was here. So say goodbye to Pookers. Or say hello, Pookers. And goodbye. Bye-bye, everybody.